So you're designing in Silhouette software and you come across this beautiful pattern and you know you'd love to print it out and use it, but how do I get that pattern into my software? Hang around. I'll show you in a minute. Hi, and thanks for joining me again. This is Susan from Blue Vinyl Stickers, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get that very, very vivid uh, background into your design. Uh, just so you know, this is the business edition, and it is version 4.0 of the software. Uh, some of my um, icons and buttons may be in different spots on your uh, than yours, uh, but they're all here. Um, they're just in different places. So today I'm going to show you how we get this uh, beautiful, beautiful uh, background into this pattern. So let me go ahead and uh, get that pattern out of there so I can show you uh, just what we're working with. So this is the design. Uh, purchased it from uh, Design digital design concepts I believe and uh, I went ahead and placed the uh, the name in here and I want to fill it up so I can do one of two things I'll go ahead and highlight it and I can come over here to my colors and I can just fill it in well that's downright boring if you ask me so what we need to do is we need to come over here to the palette it brings up the fill window the fill window is the exact same thing as it is over here but this one has got a pattern fill. Let me see if I can get that to pop up for you again. See, it says fill pattern. Go ahead and click on it, and it will bring up all of the designs that are actually loaded into your software uh, when you purchased it. Uh, there's a, a few extra that are showing in that particular folder right now, but uh, we will be adding a couple of folders, and uh, I will be showing you how to get all of these designs into these folders so they show in this window. So we're going to close this and we're going to back up a few. Um, we're going to come over here to our library and like I said you can access the library from any one of the uh, the flyout menus or wherever it is uh, located on your uh, system. Click library and open it. Now in previous uh, videos I have shown you how to set up your Silhouette Cloud. You will need to have that set up for this uh, because the only place that you will be able to access these designs here is, or excuse me, these designs here is on the cloud. So let's go back to the library. And uh, I have shown you in previous videos how to set up folders and how to create folders. And hopefully you do know how to create a folder. So we are going to create one here real quick. Right mouse click, say new folder, and we're going to call this digital paper. And we're going to hit my enter key. When I do that, it alphabetizes it for me and opens the window. Beautiful. We're ready. We're set to go. So we're going to come back over here to our design folder and I would normally open a new window and do all my designing. So now that that is here, um, let's go ahead and just get that color out of there. I'm going to come up here to my, uh, my Google search and type in digital backgrounds free because you know we all like free. And I went to uh, Pixbay. And I do have an account with Pixbay. Uh, it was absolutely free. The only thing they ask is that you upload uh, images and you can download as many images as you want. It is a public domain image site. And uh, you just have to make sure that when you click on it, it doesn't say Shutterstock or something like that uh, because this will actually take you, I believe, to Shutterstock. Um, Yep, it takes you to Shutterstock, and you do need to have an account with them to be able to uh, download their images. So we want to go ahead and click off of Shutterstock, and I typed in Digital Backdrop, and there are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of uh, patterns for um, Digital Backdrop. Um, here's one I'd like to try, so I'm going to go ahead and click on it, and since I did create an account, uh, I can download it 
So I am going to go ahead and download it. Their images uh, are usually this one. Um, it's a pretty good size. Uh, it'll work just for what we need. And I'm going to say download. And as you can see, I already have a couple of, of designs that I have downloaded. Uh, I did put them in a folder. And um, I'm going to say save. I'm going to hit the back button. And I'm going to go over here to uh, fractal backgrounds. Now I typed in that. Now a fractal is a uh, mathematically digital produced uh, photo. And these are just absolutely beautiful photos. Um, they are vivid in color. I mean, how much more vivid do you want than that? That is absolutely beautiful. Um, it's something that I admire that I am never going to attempt because I just would rather admire than attempt this. So I'm going to click on this one. And again, it's a free download. That is absolutely beautiful. Download and download. And say save. Now, as you can see, there is a an ad here. If I would upload like three or four more images, they would take this off of here. Um, but I haven't gotten that far yet. So right now, we have the images that we want to work with. So I'm going to slide this out of the way. And I'm going to come back here to my software. Now, I can't bring any of those... Uh, designs into my software, um, it, they won't do anything. They absolutely, they, they need to be uh, added to the software and the software needs to add it for us. So to do that, we're going to click on File and we're going to click on Library and we're going to click Import to Library. Don't click Import Library and don't click Library. If you click Library, it'll just bring you to your library. If you click um, import library, it's going to ask you what library do you want to um, import. And I could, if I wanted to, probably find that um, that folder and click on it and no, see, doesn't work. So the only way that you're going to get these files in there is file import to library. And I want pretty much all of these in my library, but I can't select them all at once. I have to do them one at a time. So we're going to click and then do it again. And then click, File, Library, Import, click, File, Library, Import, click. File, Library, Import, Click. Okay. Now, where it put these, it did not put them into this uh, window. Um, they are still on the uh, hard drive of my computer. It places them on the u or in the user folder. So, if you've got a lot of folder or a lot of designs and things in that folder. They may get um, lost in there, um, so you might want to put all of your um, designs in folders. So this one here has nothing in it, so you can find things. It's really easy to do this. We're going to drop and drag. So we're going to leave that window open, scroll down to the uh, folder that we created before, digital paper, and we can highlight them all. Watch down here. Okay, we're going to take this. We're going to drag this over to our digital paper. Now, watch here. It's going to upload, upload, upload. Do not touch your screen. Do not click anywhere. Don't do anything until that blue bar is gone. Um, and then again, don't do anything until this little guy has stopped rotating. That means that all of the designs that you just put over there are over, they're secure, they're ready to use. If you try to open something before that happens, you'll get an incomplete file. And we don't want to do that. So now we're going to go back over here to our design. Here it is. And um, I should be able just to scroll down and find that folder. Let me scroll up. But no. So 
you have to close this window, make sure it's closed, and then you hope open it back up. It just needs to refresh itself. And we're going to go ahead and scroll down. Brush Chrome, Ceramic Tile, there's the digital uh, paper. Now, like I said before, this, all you have to do is click and it fills it with the, the design. Same thing. Click and there's your design. Click, there's your design. Same thing. Okay, now this pattern here shows something very interesting and I'll get to a different pattern here real quick that'll show you something a little bit easier for you to see. But the pattern here repeated itself down here and it repeated itself in every one of the letters. Okay, did you kind of get that? Watch, I'm going to put it in something that's a little bit easier to see. I'm going to go ahead and click on the American flag, and I think this is a cool looking pattern. Um, but watch this, or look at this. Look at it carefully. Look at it and dissect it. The top of this pattern is one piece. The bottom of this pattern is one piece, and each one of these letters is a single piece. And that's the way the software will read it. It put the design here, it repeated it here, and it repeated it in every single one of the letters. It didn't put it on as one great big uh, design. If you wanted to put it on as one great big design, just go ahead and draw a circle real quick and come back over here. And I'll show you real quick. It puts it on as one big design, okay? So if you have separate portions in your designs, that pattern will repeat itself, okay? If you were to go and probably weld all this together, so let's try this. Let's delete this, and we're going to type in weld letters. And as you can see, it's, um, let me make it bigger for you. Again, it's all the same uh, separate letters. But let's put it into a font that I know will um, go together. Oops, let's back out a couple here. Okay, upper and lower case, highlight it, and we're going to go here. Okay, now you see how these letters are all, they're still all separate. Okay, let me make this big so you can see it. But if I right mouse click and say weld, let's get this out of the way so I can see it. Right mouse click and say weld, watch what happens. Interesting, huh? Okay, this stayed a separate letter. These are one letter here, this is a separate letter, and this is one piece here. Okay, well, it repeated itself here because this, as you can see, is the edge of the pattern. Okay, now you can fix that. Click on it, back over here, go to Advanced Options, and you can click on scale. Watch what happens here. As you make it bigger, you can actually move that white portion off. Okay? Or you can make it smaller and you see what happens. The pattern repeats itself over and over and over. Okay? So we want to put it back at 100. And, um, I actually like the way it looked with the separate letters. So we're just going to hit the undo, 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 or you can actually go and come over here to the multiple undos that's available here on uh, version 4.0. Click here, 
and weld. So we're going to unweld it. And so that turns all of these into individual letters. Only problem is, if you go to cut this, every place there's a line. Let me make those lines bigger for you so you can see them. Every place there is a line here is where your machine will cut. Now you don't necessarily have to weed those little pieces out, but I don't think I'd want my machine cutting through there. So you just need to, I would weld this, and I would actually use a different design because, you know, you don't want this white line in your pattern. Um, I would use a different design um, or make the letters all separate or use a different font. Um, let's try this one. See, this one is actually a wider design and it actually does not have any of the white that is showing. So, like I said, um, you can, uh, and we can make this one smaller, we can make this one bigger, you know, that's what I love about this. So, and then you can print this out, we can make this uh, smaller, put it on your screen and print it out if you want to. Um, and as you see, as it made it smaller, there's actually the, the repeat showing. So, because the scale here got smaller. So, make it 100. Come on, you gotta highlight it first. See, I make stupid mistakes too. And there you go. So you go ahead and print it out. That looks kind of cool. So, all right, um, that is the, uh, that's how you add the beautiful designs into your uh, software and uh, hopefully uh, you'll be able to uh, create some very 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 beautiful works of art um, and that's it bye for now <music>